as you've been able to hear this morning, I don't believe to have exaggerated when I wrote that he's an exceptional talent. Dear Master Byrne, your letter didn't do him justice. He's far better than my wildest expectations, but I'm still having my doubts about his tender age. You told me that he is merely 18. Some of the students he'll have to instruct in the noble art of music are older than that. Will he be able to guide them with authority? Of course, he lacks experience. On the other hand, I'm quite confident that the gift which the Lord so generously bestowed on him will make him an excellent teacher. Never have I seen anyone with such passion and dedication. Yes, but too much passion may lead to arrogance. Sir Haas, I can assure you this young man's a stranger to arrogance. On the contrary, he's as humble and grateful as they come. I'm glad to hear it. Sebastian? Sebastian? Oh, Master! My apologies, I was adjusting the organ to make the keyboards faster. Quite extraordinary. Sebastian, let me present Sir Haas of the pious congregation of Arnstadt. He's come to visit us because he has a proposition for you. A proposition, sir? Yes, that is to say, we're having a new organ built for Arnstadt's new church by Master Silberman. Therefore, we're looking for someone who can rejoice our town with heavenly music to the honour and glory of our Lord. Do you mean that you're offering me a position as organist? I am indeed, Mr. Bach. We're prepared to offer you 85 silver florins, plus some firewood, uh, grain, lodgings, and, uh, well, that's about it, really. Eighty-five florins? Oh, that's very generous of you. Ah, but uh, we also expect that you, in between the various church services, guide the choir and orchestra of our Latin school and instruct our youth in music. I understand. Besides, you appear to be extraordinarily good, and we'd be happy to pay for quality. It's all so sudden, I really don't know what to say. Oh, but you needn't answer right now. I'll be in town for the next two days, so you'll have ample time to reflect, hoping, of course, that you'll accept. If you gentlemen will forgive me now, I, I have an arrangement for dinner. Oh, of course, of course sir. sir. Thank I'll you. Enjoy your meal. Well, Sebastian, what do you think? Think? Well, I don't think there's much to think about. Don't forget the other side of the medal, Sebastian. Accepting Sir Haas's offer implies that you'll give up further studies. There are so many other things to discover. Law, their ancient languages, philosophy, theology. Do you really want to renounce all of this and enter this world without a higher degree? Master, I know that I'd let a wonderful opportunity slip, but all I want is praising God's greatness, and how can I do this better than through my music? You'd praise him more by exploiting all of your talents, not just this one. Perhaps you're right, Master. But if I praise him with music, day and night, for as long as I live, won't I show my infinite devotion well enough? You probably will, Sebastian, if it's this what you really want. More than anything in the world, Master. 
Then I don't suppose you are still going to see you often here? I will always remain here, Master, with my heart. God bless you, Sebastian. We're going to miss you. Will you tell him, or shall I? Uh, I'll do it, Sir Gaisbach. Good, because it's your responsibility. Good morning, Sir Haas. Oh, good morning, Mr. Barr. How are you today? Couldn't be better, thank you, sir. The new organ sings superbly, doesn't it? Yes, well, now that you mention it, uh, there is something I'd like to discuss with you. You sound serious, sir. I hope it's nothing unpleasant. <laughs> no, not at all. You needn't worry. You know, Sir Gersbach and I have just been discussing your music and we agreed on its most noteworthy and of unparalleled complexity, but uh, you see, we find it perhaps a bit too complex for our humble ears, which in turn may distract our faithful congregation. I see. We believe that music should sustain our prayers, not overwhelm it. Therefore, we'd be grateful if you could be a bit more modest in your compositions. Of course, sir, if this is what you require of me. Splendid! Then we understand each other. I wish you a pleasant Friday. All the same to you, Sir Haas. Thanks for the heavenly music. Oh, uh, you're welcome, Miss... Uh... Barbara. Barbara. All right, let's strike Corelli again. Vivace. Stop, stop. Schiller, you're late. How many times do I have to tell you? You have to count. One, two, three, four... Is that so difficult? Uh, no, Master. <laughs> and that goes for all of you as well. You were all wrong. Again, da capo. Schiller, wrong again. Yeah, fat Schiller. You got lard in your head. What did you say, Gaysbach? Oh, uh, nothing, Master. I only told him not to take it too hard in his head. He's a sensitive bloke, he is. Are you pulling my leg, Gaysbach? That is not what you told him. <laughs> no, Master, I... Silence! I've had it up to here with your little games. How do you mean, Master? I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you really? 
Right from day one you've been behaving like a clown and trying to mess up the concentration of the others. Honestly, I don't know why you're being such a nuisance, but I'm getting sick and tired of it. Well then, shall I tell you something, Master? Who gives you the right to command me like that? I should be where you are now. I'm the eldest around here and my father happens to be the head of the city council. I'm standing here because of merit, dear Gaius Bach. Besides, why do you suppose that you'd be competent enough to lead an orchestra? For God's sake, you're playing the bassoon like a blaring nanny goat. How? You... You just wait, master. I swear, you'll be sorry for this. Hi, I am. Good. Can we finally continue? Again, da capo. That was much better. Thank you so much. You're making me proud. Thank, Thank you, Master. Master. Thank you, Master. Oh, Barbara. My compliments. They've never sounded so well. Bye, Miss. Well, they just needed a little motivation, and I hope I've been able to give them just that. According to me, there's more to it. They need someone who can inspire them and make them transcend. I think that you're that person. You're doing me too much honour, Barbara. I'm just doing my best. Yes, and they feel that. That's why they're willing to do their best for you. Mm, perhaps you're right. I was wondering, it's getting a bit late. Would you mind walking me home? Dear Barbara, with you I'd walk to the end of the world.